Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's LTI MindTree interview experience. This interview happened today only that is on 14th October 2024. So guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end because lot of technical questions I will be discussing in this particular video. And these questions can also repeat in your interviews also. So you will be getting a good reference of these questions. Okay, so don't skip any part of the video. And in the later part of the video, I will also be telling you that if you don't know from where to prepare for interviews, so we have the notes for you and I will be telling you how to download them. Okay, so in the later part, so make sure to watch this video till the end. Okay, and guys, before moving ahead, do join this telegram group. This telegram group is dedicated telegram group for 225 batch students. Okay, so all the discussions regarding different different companies, whether it is Mindtree, Cognizant, TCS, all the discussions are happening here. So if you're you not present on this group, the links you will find in the description box as well as in the i button. So do join this telegram group. Okay, it will be helpful for you. And to get regular updates on our channel, do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will give us motivation for making some more such videos. And these videos will be helpful for you also. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting, do hit that like button. Okay, so guys, the first question, as you all know, will be introduction. So. You can include your education background, your skills, your internships, your projects, your achievements, if any, uh, your extracurricular activities, anything you want to include, you can include here. This will give an interviewer a fair bit of idea on you. Okay, so you can drive your interview through this particular question. This question is very much important. So moving ahead, this is common. I know this is a very common question. So I have told you about it. Next question is, I've explained the difference between thread and the process. So a process is an independent program in execution. Thread is the smallest unit of execution within a process. So on a particular thread only a program runs. Okay, so every program runs on a thread. It is the lowest form of unit in uh, coding. Okay, so process has its uh, own memory space. Thread shares memory space and resources with other threads. Okay, so this is also one of the differences. So whenever a difference is asked to you in the interview, at least give two to three points so that the interviewer can get a better understanding okay about your knowledge okay so moving ahead next question is write the algorithm for bubble sort so guys if you're following my uh, channel from past two to three months so in every interview experience that i'm discussing in the, on this channel i have told you that there are certain algorithms which are very important so all the sorting algorithms whether it is quick sort merge sort bubble sort selection sort insertion sort these are important and the searching algorithms also like linear search and binary search. These are very much important for your interview preparation. And there are more coding questions also, but uh, you can start with these algorithms to uh, start with. Okay, so see directly the bubble sort algorithm is asked from you. Next question is write the logic to swap two integers without using the third variable. So this is the logic here that you have to swap two integers without using the third variable. So this is the logic here. So I hope this question is clear to you. Now guys see if you if you now you are confused that from where to prepare for these interviews because see in every interview experience that I am covering so there are random questions that are getting popped up. So if you are confused here so what I have done on my top mid page so we have on our top mid page of code bashers we have important interview IT subject notes. In these particular notes first of all we are covering around 12 subjects okay so for every subject we have a dedicated PDF okay and in every for every subject we have at least 20 to 25 questions as well as answers for the most commonly slash important co interview questions for that particular subject. So if you uh, purchase these notes at a nominal price of rupees 99, you will get 12 PDFs. Each PDF will contain, uh, each PDF is specific for a subject. So if you will open the Java PDF, you will get around 20 to 25 important and commonly asked question and answers for th that particular subject. And similarly, now you can see here that in this particular interview, coding questions were asked. So we have a dedicated PDF for coding questions also, wherein commonly asked questions, which are uh, coding questions, which are asked in interviews, and these all the uh, coding questions, like all these algorithms that I just told you, bubble sort, selection sort, all these are mentioned here. So if you do not know that from where you should prepare, or you, you or you have very less time to prepare, so these notes can be handy for you. They are at a very nominal price of 99 and they have a validity of life, lifetime. And it is not just valid for LTA Mindtree, but any company that you are giving the interview in future, whether it is TCS, Accenture, Infosys, Wipro, Tech Mahindra, Mindtree, Cognizant, for every company, these notes will be valid for you. Okay. And we try to con uh, continuously update these notes. So if you are interested in these notes, you can find the link in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So do check them out. 
so now let's uh, move ahead in the video so next is explain oops concept so we know there are major four oops concepts abstraction encapsulation polymorphism inheritance now each and every oops concept oops concept you should know in detail with their code how to explain oops concepts in interview i have made a dedicated video for it i will give you the link in the i button or in the description box do check that video also after watching this video next is explain override keyword so override keyword as the name suggests it is used for overriding the methods so there is one a parent class and there is a subclass okay a child class so child class can override some of the methods of the parent class for that we use override keyword so i hope this is clear to you next is explain stack and queue difference between stack and queue so stack follows leaf approach queue follows p4 approach so there are some functions of stack push pop peek where for queue there is nq dq and peek so these are just the basic operations for uh, stack and queues i hope this question is clear to you next is how to count elements in a column so this is select count column name from table 1 so this is a simple syntax for sql query okay next question is explain the final keyword now final keyword is in java and it can be used with three of the things final keyword can be used with a class it can be used with a method it can be used with a variable now what is the use of for each of these things you can find it yourself on the internet also or we have covered it in our notes also you can check them from there moving to the next uh, last question of this uh, interview was explain the layers layers of osi model so just you, you should know a basic of the osi model there are seven layers and just one or two line definition of each of the layer is sufficient for that okay so this was all the questions which were asked in this lta mind interview so if you want more such interview experiences you can check out on my channel also and you can write in the comment section that yes sir we want more such videos so i will be happy to post it okay regularly i will be posting it but do remember to join this telegram group because it is a dedicated telegram group for the 2025 batch students and i am not able to make videos for every interview experience so many of the interview experiences i will be sharing in this particular channel only the link of this telegram group you will find in the i uh, pin comment okay and again do check out these notes if you found this find this suitable if you want to uh, last minute preparation or you want to revise your concepts then these notes can be handy for you many of the questions that are getting asked are already already present in these notes it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 the links you will again find in the description box or in the pin comment so this was all for this video do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do share this video among your friends also thank you for watching this video